Now we are going to use the GCF and the distributive property to rewrite these expressions and we're going to put the parentheses back. So in the last videos, we took the parentheses out and wrote expressions that looked like this. Now we have these expressions where we want to take and find the GCF and we want to rewrite it so that the parentheses are back and the GCF is visible. So we're going to find the GCF using our ladder method, just like we did a few videos ago. So let's use our ladder to find a number we can divide 56 and 32 by. And let's not worry about that plus sign right now. We're just going to find GCF like we always do. We'll consider that plus sign a hitchhiker. It's just going to follow us all the way down. So 56 and 32 are both even numbers. We can use the magic number 2 and divide 56 and 32 by 2. 56 divided by 2 is 28. 32 divided by 2 is 16. We're just going to bring our hitchhiker down with us. If you notice here, both of these numbers are even again, so I can use 2. So I'm going to build my ladder, and I'm going to put a 2 out here, and I'm going to divide both of these numbers by 2. 28 divided by 2 is 14. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Bring down the plus sign. They're both even again, so I can use 2 again. So building my ladder, I put my 2 here. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Bring down my plus sign. 7 and 4 do not have any factors in common. So we are done building our ladder. Now we need to find the GCF. So just like before, we find the GCF by multiplying all the numbers together. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So as I told you at the beginning, our goal was to rewrite this expression as a new expression, but we wanted our GCF and we wanted to use the distributive property. So we wanted to put the parentheses back so that we were able to check it with the distributive property. So we want to have a number outside of the parentheses and two numbers inside of the parentheses. The number outside of the parentheses is going to be the GCF. GCF is 8. And if you notice, when we filled out our ladder, we already have two numbers being added together. These two numbers right here at the bottom of our ladder are the two numbers we use in our expression. So our final answer is 8 parentheses 7 plus 4. That is an equivalent expression rewritten using the distributive property and the GCF. This expression is equivalent to 56 plus 32. You can check it because if you were to distribute 8 times 7, you get 56. If you were to distribute 8 times 4, you get 32. Let's do our second example. Let's build our ladder. This time I chose a number bigger than our magic numbers. I know I can use 10 because both of these numbers end in 0. 600 divided by 10 is 60. 140 divided by 10 is 14. Don't forget that plus sign. It's going to be really important later. Our magic number of 2 will work because both of these are even. And 60 divided by 2 is 30. 14 divided by 2 is 7. 30 and 7 do not have any factors in common, so we are done. We need to find our GCF, which is 10 times 2. We multiply the two numbers they have in common, and that's going to be 20. And we need to rewrite an equivalent expression 
that uses the distributive property and the GCF. We will use the GCF as the number outside of the parentheses. Our GCF is 20. And we will use our two numbers that are added together here at the bottom as our numbers that go inside of the parentheses. Our final equivalent expression is 20 parentheses 30 plus 7. This expression is equivalent to 600 plus 140. To check if we do 20 times 30, we get 600. 20 times 7 is 140.